never, ever, never You're the universe and I was revolving Like a sun on my own I know that you would do anything for me But I just need to move on setting everything up. Henry, what do you think? Are you worried about anything? I'm not relaxed as well. I think we got it. All right guys, so we just emptied, well, actually we just opened up the crate. 145.5. Water box 0.5, we're draining the water out of the water box. We have two big containers. We're gonna transfer all the livestock, all the rock, we're gonna pick this sucker up, set it over here. And then he has one fish that he purchased. It should be an instant cycle transfer because we're transferring all his rock, all his beneficial bacteria. And he also has another tank um, that he can use as a quarantine tank, worst case scenario. But right now we're setting everything up. Henry, what do you think? Are you worried about anything? I'm a little anxious, but I think we got it. Yeah. We're prepared. I've been prepping this whole week for this day, so we're ready to go. And he has a pretty cool aqua scape that we're gonna put in here. Um, ton of sand, and this this stand looks really cool. It's really nice, nice and white. Sure. And then this, this tank you're giving to Hector, right? So then you'll be sending that up. You ready to pick that up, bro? Just don't scratch the glass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So now we're gonna take all the rock out and we're gonna put it in the tub. His GST is more neon than his right? Yeah, and it's like a bush. Yeah. Oh, let me get some of that. I got you. We can break it today, yeah, and everybody can take some home. You had some. Not neon, though. I have green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the rock flower came up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a mushroom. That's a mushroom? Looks like a rock flower. Oh, thank God it came out. I mean, he ripped yeah, it out. It's kind of small. It's kind of small. Oh, that's good. Where's the engineer building? He's somewhere in there. We got a couple of crabs in there too. Most of the rock is already gone. He's pulling out some of the mm -hmm. rock flower anemones. You should be able to get either your fingers or a credit card. Did you get him? I don't know where he went, but yeah. He went. Look at his foot. His foot is down there. Damn. No wonder. Do you like water watch the Rexy? Hmm. It's a hard question, I know. What team are you I've on? I've only had water Red Sea. And I've gotten really good deals on Red Sea. You don't get really good deals on water boxes. Water boxes. Damn, but that's the thing. You don't get a good deal on a water box. You One thing I would say is I, I like the wider look on the Red Sea. The what side? The wider look. Because this is not as wide. It's a little taller. And that could be an inconvenience. I like tall. I'd rather have wide. For maintenance wise though, that's a little convenient. Can I tell you why I like tall? because I like to see my fish swim high, swim low for the fish. For me, I like it low too. But for fish, I like high. Better question, yeah. are you a fish person or coral person? Coral, 100%. coral? And yeah. you, fish coral. or coral? coral? You know what my dream take is, honestly, is the 120 Lagoon by New York. That is sexy. It's that beautiful. Is sexy. 120, just Lagoon. It's literally the one he has in his office, but this tall, huge Lagoon. Is it, is it as tall as the water box or is it short? Yeah. Well, this is a lagoon. So it will come out this, they have it on top of it. You know, yeah, this one. Imagine a lagoon, but this big. Oh, square, yeah. And it comes with a custom, a built-in oh, lid, yeah. metal, it's beautiful. And it's square though? Mm -hmm. 
It's beautiful. It's beautiful. You got me with the square. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like it's like. But the only issue square. with that is here's where I go back well, with that. Is, like you know my take? I can look at it like this and like go nuts. I can see I can be really nice. Like looking at it straight, right? With that one, if you want to get a good look, you have to go around. You got to turn it off, take the top off, look at it from the bottom because it's super deep. And if you don't like having to go through that inside your corals, that's why I go back and forth. Yeah, I'd rather have the shallow, the short one. Like, I would get the 50, but like, it looks like this. You got another one here, right? You got another side roll? Mm-hmm. You got it? Just slide it. Shit. Like, don't Come over here, baby. Gotta stay out the way. I don't want you to What's in there? No, you're not kidding. Just let go. Hold on, bro. That's cool that the scissors has that. It's a bottle cap over there. That's the most random. These are extra colors. You can see his hair, bro. Yo, let's use the, the flathead. Yo, what, what you do with the flathead? Oh, uh, he's right here. So now we're gonna start setting this thing up. We gotta do the sump, the plumbing, and then we still have to put all the sand and everything in there. So. This is like a, a chato, the, the refugium divider. Why you have set? All right, guys, so we have the optic right here. 
Like Henry, what's up? How do you want this one? Let's put it how you laid it out. Hold on, I, I want this one on the right, that one in the middle, and then the small one on the left. All right, so put it in the middle. So this in the middle? Yeah, that one in the middle. You want it like this? Yeah. It came out so good. Yeah, right. You like it? Like this? Yeah. Okay. I need that. I think I think it might have snapped. That looks money, bro. Thank you, bro. I made this, bro. It took me like three days straight. Working on it like seven or eight hours a day. Everybody, King of Reef. King of Reef. That looks fire. I love that apple stick. Thank you, bro. I think that one looks like Goofy, the one in the middle. It's the last one. <clears throat> What do you want? You want inward like this? What do you think? Should I should I face it this way and kind of have like this front facing towards this corner of the tank? Yeah. And then like basically have this arch connected to yeah, this Yeah, one? yeah, yeah. There you go. That's 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 symmetrical for sure. I can't do that. that ah! No. That looks good. That looks good to me. Good. Let's let's look at a tank shot. That looks great. <laughs> Now here's the thing, here's the thing, we can't have water actually pounding on these rocks. Yeah. So we're gonna have to like literally have somebody. The good thing out. is I have I have an I a nozzle. You just, you heard your hand. I have I have a valve that I can like adjust the with the weight of the water hitting that you think. Oh. So let's just do it on the on the phone too. Yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. yeah. You good? Oh. You good? Oh. That's so nice, bro. Hey, bro? Yeah, so we've been messing with this thing for a couple hours. Water's going good. We have the fish in here. Everything's going great. We dose some microbacter. Now you may be asking yourself, how did you guys add these fish? So quickly, so quickly we transferred. I mean, the sump is full of live rock. Full of, full, full, full of cooked live rock. Let me have some pieces in here. And it's a 145 gallon tank. There's literally three small tanks in here. So, should be good. And we transfer a lot of um, media as well, like filter, socks, and stuff that was already being used. Tank looks pretty clear for just, for just putting it instantly. Oh, this is fine. He's not even. He's not even. Yeah, he's fine, yeah. Yeah, you're good. I'm good. Yeah, he's he's literally chilling. Not even breathing heavy. <laughs> Yeah, now nah, Henry, if I were you, I'd just put our own, leave it in there for the day, for the night, 24 hours, and then check the salinity. It should be at 2.5. I bet. Because it's going to get salty. You, you guys think I, I, I don't have to use this, right? This nut? That's in case you have. No, that's if you want to. Let's see, anemone guard. Anemone, flower. I hope those flowers stick right there, man. <laughs> but we'll see with the flow. All right, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Zoe Tank Boys, but you know we can't leave without shouting one of you guys out. So, put that comment right here. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Until next time, Tank Boys out.